Okay, so let's set the scene. You're around 100k to 200k in rank. You're pushing for more ranks and trying to FC higher and higher star rating maps. The craving for rank slowly dies, it gets harder and harder to get PP. Yes, this was me not too long ago, setting plays like this. A 6 star FC at 70% accuracy, while the whole time just playing glorified whack-a-mole. How did I go from plays like this, and having top plays that were all around this level, to now having 98.5% profile accuracy, multiple high accuracy FCs on longer maps, such as Save Me, Happy Cursed, Euphorium, Rock and Roll Nandesu, and Tsukanami, as well as short farm maps with high accuracy like a hidden hard rock SS on Hikari, a hidden hard rock perfect SS on Padoru, and a hidden double time SS on whatever this map name is. But enough bragging about myself. Now I'll show you what I did to get to where I am now. To first prepare yourself to get good at accuracy, you need to have persistence. For instance, just because you improve from a C rank to a B rank in a month instead of the S rank you want, doesn't mean you're doing bad. For reference, there was about a 3 month range from my first 5 star FC to my first 5 star S rank. Sad, I know. The second thing you need to know is that improvement is not linear. There will be points where you do poorly and get worse scores than you had previously. That's okay, it's normal and it happens to everyone. All you have to do is keep the main goal of improving your accuracy in your mind. Now that you're prepared to improve your accuracy, now we can move on to the steps that I took to get to where I am. Step 1. Play more. Okay, but really, the first step, at least for me, to improving accuracy, was to choose a simple rhythm map, something below the star rating you go for FCs on. For example, my choice of map when I was in this position was Can You Understand Me? Something that was simple jumps for me since I've already FC'd a 6 star before. This map only has single taps in it, so I found it to be the easiest thing to focus on. Keep playing these kinds of maps over and over until you get better accuracy on them. Use whatever original map you chose as a benchmark. This way you can measure your improvement. Once you get an accuracy you're happy with, then you can move on to maps with more complex rhythms. Things like triples and short bursts of 5 to 9 notes. Keep expanding the patterns you can hear the rhythms to and get accuracy on. This first step takes very long and doesn't actually ever end. Try to go up in letter grades on a variety of maps and try to not only get higher letter grades on new maps around this first map star rating, but also try to purposely improve accuracy on previous maps you've played. This way you notice your accuracy improving. Step 2 The second step to improving accuracy is to settle on a playstyle. For reference, my grip hasn't changed since I started playing Osu. I hold my pen like the goddamn hair bear fanfare girl. But hey, it works and it's comfortable for me. And whatever is comfortable for you will work over time. Another thing I haven't changed for quite a while is my tapping style. Since I've been trying to improve accuracy, I've been using a hybrid tapping playstyle. My playstyle is where you alternate on sliders and single tap jumps. It sounds weird, but it helped me to learn finger control and how to alternate overall since I couldn't even stream 120 BPM when I FC'd my first 5 star. Any playstyle you're comfortable with works perfectly fine as long as you consistently use it. That's all I have to say for step 2. Now on to step 3. Once you get an accuracy you're happy with, you can stop the nomad map grind. If you're a person like me, you have no sense of rhythm or music. Even if you do, this step will help for you. Hidden is the best mod for actually listening to the music. A lot of people dis Hidden as a preference mod, however it has several benefits. If you very rarely play Hidden like I did at this level, then transitioning to it is difficult. Since the circles no longer exist, it forces you to listen to the song to hit the circles. This rhythm following is amplified the lower the AR is. Low approach rate or AR Hidden makes it that you're forced to sync the rhythm of the song to your aim as you click the circles. I recommend that you don't spend too much time focusing on this step, but rather implementing it into your improvement of the other steps. Step 4. Force yourself to play extremely rhythmically complex maps. Once you can manage accuracy on the simpler rhythms, before you rush to the star rating you want to play so badly, you should step back with the aim challenges for a second and work on finger control. Finger control helps you to maintain accuracy on all sorts of rhythms, so it's a must-have skill. 
before, and since let's say you start a longer stream or burst too early or too late. Sure, you have the muscle memory of hitting this pattern, however, if you hit it how you are used to hitting it, in this case, you would get all 100s on the stream or burst. The best way to combat this is with rhythmically complex maps, and let me explain why. When you play a map that changes BPM, time signatures, or whatever very frequently, it forces your mind to adapt to these changes quickly. If you don't, you'll do extremely poorly on these maps. Where a simple misread and rhythm on a simpler map may cost you accuracy, on these sorts of maps you'll either misread and miss, or possibly even fail. In the background, you'll see a map I love to train myself on for this very purpose. However, I'll list a few more as the gameplay continues. Some lower star rating maps I have in mind are maps such as Sankyu Ranbu, Kazuketsu Thanatos, pretty much any of Kingling's number ones, and I'm not sure this one counts too much, but it's my video, and I love longer songs. At around 5.5 stars and 10 minutes long, Crimson Beldivere is a soothing and relaxing song which features pretty much everything difficult in rhythm, such as BPM changes, doubles, one third sections, and nice jumps so simple farmers like us feel good about ourselves. And this is just a personal recommendation, but Dementory and other D&B songs and maps are the best for learning and listening to the rhythm, since the lyrics don't really get in the way. Now onto the last step. Step 5. This step is to just repeat these previous 4 steps with a new goal once the previous goal is reached. If you finally can get A ranks on high star rating maps, if that was your goal, then either move on to get higher accuracy A ranks, or S ranks, or work on getting A's on even higher star rating maps. Find whatever is most enjoyable for you, and don't be afraid to take breaks from reaching your goals. Lastly, I want to remind you all to enjoy the game, and keep in mind that this is just a game. I know firsthand that things can get frustrating, especially if it feels like you're moving backwards from your goal. Persistence is good, but a good and healthy mindset is more important in the game. Thank you if you got this far into the video. I want to thank everyone who's been supporting the channel recently. I shot up and doubled my sub count within two videos, which is insane and extremely motivating. Thanks again for all your nice comments, and as always, see you next time!